I improved 85.4% in bridging instantly by using these tricks. And if you want to improve at bridging, you need to watch this. These are also my personal tips after bridging for one year. So let's get into it. So my first tip for everyone who is starting out bridging is listening to the timing of the bridge you, you want to learn. For example, hearing the God Bridge song if you want a God Bridge. If there isn't a song for your bridging method, my tip would be that you watch videos of someone doing it so that you can hear the sounds of when they are bridging. But don't make the mistake that you hear the song while listening because that just messes completely your timing up. That really helped me out, especially for God bridging. My second tip is practicing more in-game. So if you want to learn your bridging method, not only for first times on a bridging server, but actually in-game, for example in Bad Wars, my best tip is as soon as you can kind of do it, like maybe 10 blocks or something, then you start practicing it in-game. My third tip is one that I realized way too late. And it is that you should only bridge on one server. You can obviously go into other servers, but for me it was really difficult because I have pretty high ping. And if I go on a different server, the timing, for example, when I, when I start running with Godbridge, it's really difficult because I would have to do a different timing. So every time I then wanted to go bridge in in Hypixel game, it was much more difficult. Because tip four is a small but neat tip, which was uh, disabling the block sounds. This actually helped me much because I can hear myself drag clicking when I'm bridging. If you don't hear the sounds drag clicking, then you should probably keep it on. But if you have the block sounds on and you can hear the drag clicks mess often your timing up more than you think. My fifth tip is one that can help you with lining up your bridge and that is a good crosshair. And I don't mean exactly one like Battle Snoop has, obviously that is one of the best for bridging, but you can also just do a very small one and it's also much easier to line up. So with time that really helps you. My sixth tip is having a clean uh, texture pack. And for a clean texture pack for bridging, I really like Battle Snoop's one because Another thing that helps you while bridging with his texture pack is is the blocks add on to each other when you're bridging. So you can really see how your bridge is looking. And if you want to use another texture pack, what I found is if you put Battle Snoop's texture pack under, under your normal texture pack, then you have pretty much only the wool overlay. So that's really, really nice to use. And at the end, I have a special tip for you how to always be able to drag click. Because for me at the beginning, I really wasn't sure how someone could always drag click. And even with tape, it wasn't always easy for me. So my tip is, when you apply the normal amount of tape to your mouse, you additionally get a bit of more tape and then the sticky side over it. So that if you longer not used it, it rips off the dust and it also gets a bit stickier. So then at the moment you can always drag click after sticking the additional tape onto it. So that were my best tips after bridging for one year. If you still struggle with the timing of God Bridge, you need to watch this video next because there you can hear my click sounds. Thanks for watching, hope to see you soon.